Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Rocket City Trash Pandas and the Biloxi Shuckers. Into the box, Zane Gerwitz. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The 1-1. One -one. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Game time temperature here and even 60 degrees. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Yeah, doubled up on the slider away there. Got him to go after it before, so why not see if he'll offer at it again? Swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he darn near started this thing off with a bang. Instead, it's a foul ball. No. Full count now, three and two. Gotta love the battle we're seeing right out of the gates in this game. That's seven pitches now, and if this is any indication, we're in for a good contest here. The next three, two. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Swing and a line drive, but foul. The 3-2 one more time. Ran it in on him as this is bounced towards short. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Into the box now, Roberto Baldoquin. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Baldoquin. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hard hit to first. He's got it. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. That is first. Now with the play, Bo Wang. He'll get to take his first cuts here. 3 2 pitch. Grounded to first. Reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So striding in, Bryce Terang. They'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2-1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Still even at 2-2. Two and, two. and the pitch. Ball. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game, but that's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches, and the more pitches a hitter sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. Now the 2-1 pitch. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get fouled. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. Corey Ray will be next. And here's a ball hit in the air. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Looking up is the left fielder. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. In now Corey Ray ripped down the first base line, but a foul ball one and two now. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field, and that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Batting four at the plate now, Patrick Leonard. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Spin and a throw back to second. 
And he'll dive back in. Here now the 2-2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Digging in the switch hitter, Blake Alamon. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. The 1-1. One, one. Two out here and a runner at second. And this will be fouled away. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. He set the 2 2. A bouncer up the middle. Scooped up. A throw not nearly in time, so despite the great effort, that'll go into the books as an infield single. The right field. So now to the plate, Chad Spanberger. And it's one and two. Oh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. The set and the 2-2. Two -two. The short hit hard. Oh, what a stop on the slide. How about that? Leading off the inning, Jordan Zimmerman. And they'll need him to get something going here. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Hit on the ground out to short, right to him. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Stepping up now, Brendan Sanger, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 2 1. Grounded up the first baseline. He's got it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Striding into the box, Connor Justice looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. Last half of the second set to go, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Jake Gatewood. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Fouled off into the seats behind first. Another 2-2. Two, two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Settling in now, Cooper Hummel. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. Standing in now, Carlos Leal. Three and one now. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. Gerwitz waits on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. So striding forward now, Bryce Terang, runner in scoring position with two gone. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Line drive to left. Young is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Digging in now, Kevin Maiton. 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. 
Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. It gets down, and that'll be extra bases on their first hit of the game. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Batting it. The left fielder, Edwin Young. To the plate now, Edwin Young. Oh. I went to the slider to try and get him to chase, but it's full now, three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Line drive to center field. That's in there. Base hit. Maiton is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate. We're all square at one apiece. Jack. Into the box, Jack Ruger. Line towards center field. Ray is there, and he has it for the first out. Ready for another chance? Zane Gerwitz. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. And he misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. Now First and second now Roberto. with one away. Roberto. Ball to the The 1-1 one, one pitch. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hubble is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for route number two. Coming to the plate now. Way. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Way. Young at second. Gerwitz on at first with two down. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Racing back the right fielder. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. In now, Jordan Zimmerman. Fastball, and it gets by him a swinging strike. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Late now is the designated hitter, number 12, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Yeah, and his last that bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run, so it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's now glove, and that's a Denver tough first Fielder. out. Story. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Popped him up. Kruger shading to his right. Two gone. So now it'll be the four hole the hitter, Patrick man. Leonard. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Four to one's our score here in inning number three. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. The 2 2 is laid off and the count runs full. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. Now in the box, Blake Alamon. The three-one is swung on and missed. A full count now. Three-two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. 
Working for the punch out and the offering. Lifted the other way out to left center. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Standing in, Brendan Sanger. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. Full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Line to the right side. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. At the plate now, Connor Justice. One and two as he chases the slider. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Kevin Maiton. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next DB. And not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. Now back. Left field back. Into the box now, Edwin Young. Now this is slowly hit to short, probably too slowly to get to. And indeed he won't look at second. He'll just flip it on over to first to take the sure out. Now about it. At the plate, Jack Kruger hit it hard but lined out in his first half bat. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. He's in at second safely as also on the play a run comes across to score Scott Sonich answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter at the plate Zane Gerwitz now a ball lined toward the alley in left center he lays out for it but he can't pull it in Now battle, the shortstop, Roberto Baldachin. To the plate now, Roberto Baldachin. The one-two. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. So stepping in, Chad Spanberger comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. The next 3-2. Pulled toward right center field. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he is in the third with a leadoff triple. Now that first baseman, Jake. Jake Wood. Standing in now, Jake Gatewood. And he checked his swing, but it's a strike three called, and that's the first out of the, the inning. Fielder, number nine. Stepping into the box, Cooper Hummel. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Now batting, catcher, Carlos Leal. In now, Carlos Leal. Very high, two and one. Off 
speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one. Well he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And it's up to a three two full count now. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning but that's also kind of risky at the same time. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Carlos Leal goes down for route number two in the bottom half. Here's the one and two delivery. A runner on first with two away. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. And another foul ball. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Two down runners at first and second. A high two and one now. Two ball, one strike. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The next three two. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Hummel rounds third and is digging for the plate. He pulls into second safely as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Now Into the box, Corey Ray. And oh, awfully close, but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. Jose Rodriguez trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Patrick Leonard will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. The 1-1. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through for a base hit. The throw to the plate. And he is safe as he beats the play at the plate, and it's now a 7-5 ball game. Now batting. The second baseman. Boy. Stepping in now, Blake Aleman. Four runs here in this half inning. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Bo Way. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing, and he pops him up. Terang is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Digging in once again, Jordan Zimmerman. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Now that the right field. So now to the plate, Brendan Sanger. Now here's a swing and a high pop up, drifting into shallow right field. Palomond ranges back and he has it for route number two. Next will be the designated hitter, Connor Justice. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot has to put the ball in play way outside nearly to the backstop two and one oh. 
to two and two now. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And digging in is the outfielder, Chad Spanberger. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Throw just does beat him to the bag, as that was pretty close. Now at the plate, Jake Gatewood. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. The 3 2 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will wind up being a foul ball. He'll try it again, 3 and 2. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. Now at the play, Cooper Hummel. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. There's the 2 1 home. 3 and 1. 3 1. On a rope to the second baseman. But the runner is back to avoid the double play. Coming to the plate now, Carlos Leal. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Leal. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway, and next it'll be the switch hitting first baseman, Kevin Maiton. The 1 1. Lifted down the line in left. And no one will get this one. The one two is looked at for ball number two. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Edwin Yon will be next. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Now back. So digging in now, Edwin Yon. He was Yon. retired via the ground ball last time up. High pop-up. Gatewood is there, one away. Digging in, Jack Kruger. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. The one-two. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. The one-two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hummel is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Zane Gerwitz. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. He's fallen behind now, three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Spanberger is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Simon Matthews enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number six. Simon 
Bottom of the sixth inning now. And stepping up as the shortstop, Bryce Terang. 1 1. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Digging in, number 12. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Both teams with eight hits in this one. This is skied into short left center. In comes the left fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. Ready now, Corey Ray. One for two with a double on his line thus far. The pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. One strike. Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat. Three and one. Three one count, tying run on the on deck circle. You have to be very careful right here to make a quality pitch on three and one. Now batter, third baseman, Patrick Leonard. To the plate now, Patrick Leonard. Three and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. High in the air out to center field. Way is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Stepping up to the plate, Roberto Baldoquin. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run, and no one will track it down. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Chopped toward the second baseman. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. At the plate, no way. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Lined but speared on a hop. Throw gets him, two down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jordan Zimmerman. He's working on a one for three thus far. Set to deliver on two and one. Down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Here's the pitch. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. And he will get there to make the running play. And that will end the inning. Kyle Keller gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 58. Last half of the seventh here, and standing in is the switch hitting second baseman, Blake Alamond. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Three and two now. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The right field. Digging in, pass. Chad Spanberger. He's yeah. got a hit in three at-bats to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. one out, nobody on. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Stepping in, Jake Gatewood. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. So coming to the plate, Brendan Sanger.
from the windup, the 1 1 pitch to first. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Digging in to try it again. Connor Justice. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. And it's fouled away. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth inning of work. The first baseman, Kevin Michael. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Three and one to him now. Hit down the third baseline. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Payoff pitch home. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Miguel Sanchez takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Edwin Yon will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Ready for another shot now. Jack Kruger is working on a one for three thus far. Kruger. On the ground to the left side. He's got it. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Luis Pena will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Cooper Hummel. Two for three with a double on his line so far. The 1 1 home. Misses ball two. Two one. Hit softly on the ground to third. And there's one away. Ready once again. Carlos Leal. He could really use a knock here. 0 for three in the game so far. So one one. It's a fastball that misses. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Young is over just a few steps to his right as he takes it for route number two. The batter, number two. At the plate, Bryce Terang. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. The designated hitter. From the belt, the pitch. Two ball, two strikes. Pitch is mishandled behind the plate and it bounces away. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Now the three and two pitch. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Stepping in, Zane Gerwitz. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the 2-1. Oh. 
Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. So, we got him looking there. Zane Gerwitz becomes the first out in the ninth inning. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to 2-1 and one now. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. The 3-1. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right fielder giving chase, and no one will track it down. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. And he fouls this one off. And he popped him up back into foul territory behind first and nope this one falls so he'll get another shot hit on the ground down the first baseline but this will get foul so they'll do it again three and two curveball but a good job to lay off and he works out the free pass striding in no way he was a ground out victim last time up back toward the mound this will be a tough turn however to second for one but one's all they were ever going to get and the inning will continue the third base next will be the cleanup hitter Jordan Zimmerman he's one for four for the game now a throw over and he'll get back in safely two out with the man at first Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Curve ball misses here, so a good hitter's count now to three and one. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. And he drops a change in on him there, and that'll run it full three and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Alamon is there, and the side is retired. Brett Hanowich enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 39, Brett. All set for the bottom of the ninth, and next it'll be the outfielder, Corey Ray. Liner toward right center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Now batter, the third baseman, Patrick. And the plate now, Patrick Leonard. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. strike that time and it's even at two and two into the corner and slicing foul another two two offering and he oh. takes strike three called on the fastball one gone. Standing in, Blake Olimar. He flew out in his last at bat. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Good pitch there down below the zone, got him to go after it. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move, but this will land untouched. Two two here it is. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. In now, Chad Spanberg he comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Full count still. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up.
And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. He makes the catch, and they are back in the win column again. As they take game three of the series, and the ball game is over. Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game, and it took six here to get the job done, but, hey, they'll do whatever they can to get a W. 7-5 tonight's final. Rocket City led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Jose Rodriguez gets the win in relief his second of the year. Bowden Francis was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. Brent Hanowich earns the save out of the bullpen his ninth of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa. Dan Pleasak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter the at MLB The Show. For the victorious Trash Panthers, seven runs, eight hits, no errors. They left six men on day. For the Shuckers, five runs, ten hits, no errors. They left ten men on day. Time of the ball game, three hours and 27 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight.